Hello, today we'll go over how to recreate a Studio Classic style into a modern studio style. Because this process isn't automatic, I'll be going over the tools you can use and how to do this step by step. In my current screen, I recreated the Classic Outdoors style with Studio. Now let's hop over and see what the original style looked like. This is the Studio Classic Outdoors style. Take a close look at the details in the typeface, terrain, and coloring. To start, let's take a screenshot of the map. Great, now that we have that screenshot, let's move over to Cartogram. The first thing we'll do here is upload the screenshot that we just took. You can drag and drop the screenshot onto the page. Cartogram will automatically populate colors that we can further fine tune using these circles. When you hover over a circle, it will tell you exactly what is changing. So right now, I'm trying to pick a color for the roads. For this green, it looks a little bit too strong for what I want. So I'll make it lighter. For the water, I'll match the water. For the land, I'll try and find a pure beige area. And then for the text labels, I'll look for a larger, larger word to try and get that darker gray. It's not quite right, but it's getting there. It looks like the roads are probably the biggest one that we want to fix. So let's look for another area with the pink. That looks pretty good. Once you're satisfied with the colors, you can press the Save Style button near the top. This button will take you into Mapbox Studio with a style that you just created with Cartogram. If we compare this style to the original Outdoor Studio Classic style, there's a few things I want to clean up. The terrain, typeface, and roads are very distinct in this style, and it's something that I'd love to mimic in our new style. Let's start with the typeface. First, click on Typography in the bottom left. This style is currently using the DIN Pro font family. Let's switch it to the Open Sans font family. You can change the font by clicking on a label category, then searching for the new font in the list. I'm scrolling down to find Open Sans, and let's switch it by clicking on Open Sans Semi Bold. You can also type in the font name into the text box. Let's repeat this for every category. Now let's increase the white text halo. To do this, click on a city name, then click Layers, and find the Settlement Label layer. Scroll down to Halo Blur, and override that to zero. Next, click on Halo Width, and override that to two. Now repeat this for the smaller labels. Because these labels are smaller and have a thinner weight, you actually might want to switch the 2 to 1.5. This gives the halos a very crisp texture. Next, let's dial the terrain. In the top left corner, click the Add Layer button, and then we're going to scroll down and look for the terrain RGB encoded them. You want to select that layer and then click Style. We can leave the shadow, highlight, and accent colors as is. But you can see in some cases that right now the terrain layer is above the text label. So let's drag this down. We'll want to put it as far down the layer list as the other land related layers. And that's the terrain. Finally, let's dial the road network. In the color palette, click the roads color and copy the hex code. Next, click manage color palette and find motorways and trunks with the road network subtitle. We'll add that in and we'll paste the color that we just copied over. Now you won't see a big change just yet because we have to change the non-highways to a gray. So to do that, let's click on one of these grays, copy that, click back on our roads color, remove this hex value and replace it with the gray. Now this gray personally is a little bit too strong for me, so I would actually make this white. I think it's important to remember that even though we're recreating a style, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. We can make changes if we want to. Uh, you're definitely open to continue using the gray, but this is just something that I think is important to think about when recreating styles, is that they don't have to be exactly the same, because the style and your application are growing and changing. So with that, we've recreated the Mapbox Studio Classic Outdoor style, we've changed the typeface, we've added in terrain, and we've made the road network. Great job! Now that the style is completed, you can press Publish in the top right corner, 
to publish the map style. Look how far we've come. On the left side, this is what we uh, created from Cartogram, and on the right side are the details that we've added. Looks pretty good. Click Publish. When you're ready, you can click the Share button, and you can share your style, or you can scroll down to Developer Resources to copy the style URL and access token to start using this in your application. Have fun!